Welcome to Online Practicals with Banks. In this video, we'll be working through the 2022 Novdeck Physics Practicals. Since this is a Novdeck exam, you will not be performing the actual experiment yourself. Instead, you will be provided with all the necessary values in a diagram form. From here, all you need to know is to measure and record your values directly from the diagram provided. Then you construct a table of results. You organize your recorded values into a data form. Then you plot a graph using the data from your table of results. After then, you determine your slope by calculating it from the graph. Then you state your proportion. Let's dive into the particles and go through each step. The diagram above shows a setup of a simple pendulum of length L. The ball is displaced and released to perform a simple harmonic motion. The time, T, for 20 oscillations of the bulb is measured and recorded. The procedure is repeated for four other values of L. Figure 1A shows the raw values of Y. Figure 1B shows the corresponding values of T, where I is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Measure and recall the values of Y. Use the given scale to convert Y to the real length L. Read and recall the values of T. Evaluate the period capital T, log cap T, and log L. Tablate your results. First, we need to draw our table of values. And the composite of the table will be found in the question. So over here we have y in centimeters. Now we should read and record the value of y. And we should convert y to its original length L. We should read and recall the values of t as the time, the period for 20 oscillation, log of the period, and log of L. So since we now have the composite values, let's draw a table of results. So because we have six values, we need six columns for the table of results. So let's draw our table of the six columns. Then here will be y per centimeters, and here will be L also per centimeters then here will be the time t per second then the period capital T that the time divided by the number of oscillation per t which is equal to small t small t over 20 oscillation to is in second then we have log capital T and lastly log L now we are done with the composite table let's proceed with our recordings so we go straight forward to the picture and take our readings over there so we measure and record the values of y as well as that of t as provided in the diagram for y we have y1 y2 y3 and y4 up to y5 so for y from here to this place is 6.0 centimeters so we record it as y1 6.0 centimeters then we come to y2 this place to this place and that one too is 7.1 centimeters so y2 7.1 centimeters as y2 then we go to y3 y3 from this place up there to the bottom and now one is 8.3 centimeters 
to y through eight point three centimeters. Centimeters. Go to y four to y four from the top to the bottom. And now onto is nine point four centimeters. So y four nine point four centimeters. And go to y five. The same procedure for y five to from the top there to the bottom and down to is 10.6 centimeters so for y5 is 10.6 centimeters now we have our values for y we proceed to the ii we said use the given scale to convert y to real value l so we have to convert y to its real value L using this scale and the scale is 1 centimeters to 10 centimeters whatever we have here as y we just multiply it by 10 for L1 you we'll just multiply 6.0 centimeters by 10 and you we'll have 60 centimeters for L1 so L1 you have 60 centimeters for L2, the same thing, we multiply 7.1 cm by 10, then we have 71 cm. And for the L3, we have 83 cm. L4, we have 94 cm. And L5, we have 106 cm. What we need to do is to record it in the table of results. Now we are done with our recordings. Just proceed to that of the time t. The time t. We start from this place. That's here is our t1, and it's all in seconds. That's the SI unit from our time. And this one is start from 28.6, then it moves to 28.8, which means a 0 0.2 interval. When you take the difference of that, T1 is in the middle, so this one will be 28.7 for T1, as T1 will be 28.7. 7 for T1 and if you come to T2 T2 over here it lies between 31.0 and 31.2 the same 0 0.2 interval 0 0.2 interval if you divide it by 2 does T1 lies between the middle of that we come and have 0 0.1 so T2 is 31.1 31.1 seconds and one then we come to t3 which is between 33.4 and 33.8 so 33.4 over here and 33.8 so if you take the difference of that we come and have 0 0.4 and it lies between the middle of that as over here so you divide it by 2 divide it by 2 and come and have 0 0.2 therefore t3 is 33.6 so we add the 0 0.2 to the 3.4 and come and have T3 to be 33.6. The same as T4. But T4, there is a breakage over this place, this place, and this place. It means that here it was 33.8, but over here, it moves to 36.0 that's the breakage over there we are starting from 36.0 to 
36.2 the same 0 0.2 interval when you take the difference of that and t4 lies in between of that so if you divide 0 0.2 by 2 you can have 0 0.1 then you add it to the 36.0 t4 has 36.1 that's 36.1 and finally t5 over here too there is a break over there that 36.8 and here start from 37.8 so that's the break over there and this t5 lies between 37.8 and 38.2 which is 0 0.4 interval when you take the difference of that because it lies the fourth of this place we we'll divide this one by two and we can have 0 0.2 interval so when we add 0 0.2 to this coming half here to be 30 8.0 then here to be 38.1 so it means that t5 is 38.1 so we head on and record our values for the t now we are done recording our value for the time D. Let's head on and calculate our period for 20 oscillation. For the period of oscillation, it's just the time you had then divided by the number of oscillations. For T1, we have 28.7. We just divided by the number of oscillation, which is 20 and come and have 1.44. That's for T1, that's capital T1 for the period of oscillation. For the period of oscillation for T2, that one too will be 31.1 1 divided by the 20 oscillation, that is 1.56 for T2. T3, the same procedure. 33.6 divided by 20 that is 1.68 now we head on and record our values for the period after we are done we just take a log of the period then the log of our value of l whatever that we have we record it in the table then we plot our graph from here, we are done with the table of results and everything about the composite table is complete. Be sure to watch out for our next video on plotting and drawing of the graph. Don't forget to like this video and hit the notification button for more updates. Also, you can leave your comments in the section below.